All right, to take apart your motor to do a little cleaning, that you've got to remove four screws. So basically, there's a screw right here by this strut, and then there's a screw here, here, and here. And once you remove those four screws, the whole motor will pull out like that, where you're likely to see seaweed or other debris um, accumulate is back here in this kind of tail cone area. So you can spray that out with some water. When you do have the motor out like, like this, this uh, propeller should spin freely and it shouldn't be rubbing or anything like that. If it is, uh, then we'll have to go a little bit further and take the, the nose cone off here and take a look at that. If you want to go a little bit further and take the nose cone off, you need a two and a, a half millimeter um, Allen driver. Just take the two screws off the nose cone, nose cone should come off. And then basically you'll, you'll see that there's a little uh, bearing and a uh, washer there. And to take that off, uh, you actually have to um, align through the hole here. Um, the, the, you'll see it come up here if I spin it. There it is, right there. And you just have to unscrew that. So once you have this collar removed, now you can just simply grab onto the propeller pull it out and uh, the propeller is attached to this uh, rotor here that's magnetized. This is a shaft and this might be an area that needs to be cleaned quite a bit. Uh, you can also take the uh, propeller off and replace it um, and that's pretty simple. And then this part right here uh, might just need to be cleaned up um, and uh, kind of uh, cleaned of debris and then you're ready for uh, reassembly. So when you're ready to put it back together Pretty simple, just align this shaft. It's magnetized so it'll kind of click into place there uh, and uh, align itself. And then you've got to put this collar um, back in. And one thing to keep a note of is there's a flat spot on the shaft and that flat spot is where you're gonna want the set screw uh, from the collar to actually um, grab onto. So um, just takes a little bit of uh, looking at to get it get it lined up then once you get it lined up you're just gonna um, screw it in there and um, once you've got it in propeller will sp uh, spin freely won't be able, able to take it off or anything like that and then the next step is just simply uh, aligning this back up onto the motor housing and you're just gonna push that into place and then the next steps are you're gonna go and put uh, the screws back in four of them one two three four uh, When you put the side ones side screws back on make sure and put um, Your retraction cord mounts back back in there And then the final part is the nose gun if you have a weed guard, you'll be putting a different one on. And that's pretty much all there is to it.